Hello there folks, my name is Spooks and welcome back to another episode of Box Office Chat. This is the show where I break down the top 5 domestic box office results, see where each movie landed, and see how well each movie did. So let's get started. Number 5 was Despicable Me 4, making 7.9 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of 330 million and a worldwide total of 807 million dollars. So Despicable Me 4 gets another week in the top 5, it was actually able to get the jump over last week's two new films, Trap and Harold and the Purple Crayon, which is really impressive given how this movie has been out much longer and it was able to beat out the two newest films in theaters, really impressive stuff. Because of that, in terms of the franchise, it is just 4 million away from surpassing the first Minions film domestically, and given the fact that there is no other family or animated films, in theaters until September. It should leg out for at least another month or so and maybe even reach the heights of Despicable Me 2 and Minions Rise of Gru domestically. It seems very likely that that will be the case. It seems to be following the footsteps of other animated movies that uh, had similar runs where they were at the point where there was just that those movies were the only animated family films out, you know, Kung Fu Panda 4, Migration, so on and so forth. Uh, and this film looks like it's going to follow in that footsteps as well. Worldwide, it has surpassed the $800 million milestone. Really impressive stuff. We'll see if it can get to a billion. I think it's just going to get really close or once again, barely get over it. It does seem to be slowing down a bit, but not significantly. And besides, even if it doesn't get to that billion dollar mark, this film has just made so much money thus far, you know against a hundred million dollar budget you know that i don't think the studio is upset with how this movie has done so yeah I, I think this movie's got a couple more weeks in the top five given that it's the only family movie out right now that people actually want to see sorry harold and will be the only animated movie in theaters once again until you know transformers and the wild robot in september so yeah another solid weekend for despicable me 4 the same cannot be said for the number four film, Borderlands, opening with $8.6 million this weekend domestically and $16 million worldwide. Folks, we have talked a lot about bombs and flops on this show. You know, even this summer, you know, we had stuff like The Fall Guy and uh, Furiosa, so on and so forth. But I don't think we've seen as big of a flop in a while as what we have with Borderlands. This completely imploded in on itself. Nobody wanted to go and check this movie out as evident by the very, very bad opening numbers here. This is just awful. These are all, it couldn't even crack double digits at a time when like video game adaptations are at their peak pretty much you know obviously mario sonic detective pikachu and even most recently five nights at freddy's even the uncharted movie did really well even the tv shows are doing really well the last of us and fallout have been critically acclaimed and they're gonna get more and more seasons uh so the fact that this couldn't even come close to what those things did is absolutely embarrassing but you know it's even more embarrassing the fact that this movie has a budget of around 110 to 120 million dollars folks this is a very expensive movie and it didn't even make like 30 percent of that back uh this weekend this is absolutely terrible result and i don't even think it's going to get to half of that uh, by the end of its run as the word of mouth on this is atrocious again we talk a lot about like audience reception cinema score and how like a b plus you know b as in boy uh would be cause for concern for a movie's word of mouth folks this got a d plus d as in disaster uh nobody likes this movie no one is encouraging anyone else to go and see this movie this is headed for a historically bad run uh this is definitely going to be the only time it's in the top five for sure again i i just don't see there's no light at the end of the tunnel there's no beacon of hope for this thing it, it this is just a disastrous opening and it's going to be a disastrous performance uh in the coming weeks awful 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 opening 
for Borderlands. Number three was Twisters, making 15 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of 222 million and a worldwide total of $310 million. Twisters continues its very solid run domestically. I think it's safe to say it'll crack $250 million domestically very, very soon. It just seems to be making the most out of this, you know, sluggish period uh, during the box office. People want to see something maybe a bit more different in terms of a summer blockbuster, and this is fulfilling that for a lot of people. Again, the word of mouth on this seems to be very strong. People seem to be really digging and enjoying this movie domestically internationally this film is still struggling i don't know what's up with the international audiences i guess they just don't find tornadoes that appealing but still it was able to double its 155 million dollar budget which is still very good but had you know the international numbers been better you know i i really think this movie could have been like a huge juggernaut but as is you know it's still doing impressive numbers at least in my opinion certainly better than what i thought i thought this wasn't gonna reach these types of numbers especially domestically but it's seeming to prove me wrong and i think it's gonna continue to have these good holds throughout the remainder of the summer it's think i think it's got a couple more weeks in itself to really push forward and yeah not much more else to say except another solid weekend for twisters Number two was It Ends With Us, opening with $50 million this weekend domestically and $80 million worldwide. This is the eighth biggest opening of the summer, topping If and The Fall Guy, but still sitting behind A Quiet Place Day 1, Bad Boys Ride or Die, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, Despicable Me 4, Twisters, Inside Out 2, and Deadpool and Wolverine. And in terms of romantic comedies released this decade, it is the biggest opening in that category topping the lost city ticket to paradise anyone but you and love again as i expected this movie was able to overperform to a significant degree uh, i saw a lot of people were a bit hesitant on this movie they weren't sure uh how the big this movie could go it certainly was a big wild card for a lot of people and i definitely understand that uh, but the film was able to defy those odds hitting 50 million dollars in its opening weekend really really strong opening especially for a rom-com they've been doing very well but they haven't had like huge openings like this in a while so that is very very impressive it goes to show you how massively popular this book is and how its fans and even general audiences were curious to go and check it out i also think the marketing was really solid they did a lot of uh creative stuff with the advertising they even got ryan reynolds the love of blake lively's wife uh in on the marketing and he did some publicity stunts for the movie and i thought that was actually a really smart idea on their part and yeah uh things look pretty good for this film i think it's definitely going to be one of the few august surprises for sure audiences seem to be really digging this movie it got an a minus cinema score rating which is actually on par with ticket to paradise another rom-com like i said earlier and of course higher than the b pluses the lost city and anyone but you got so yeah things are looking really really solid for this film this is a really big opening for sure what also makes this great is that the film only costed 25 million and it's already well beyond past the doubling point especially worldwide it's definitely getting to 100 million worldwide very very soon we'll see if it can continue with the strong legs these types of movies based off books you know they could they can be front loaded so we could see a bit of a drop not significantly certainly not going to be as big as borderlands next week but something on the steeper end but i have faith that it'll continue to hold well with the positive word of mouth from the fans of the book and the people who really seem to like this movie so yeah really solid start for it ends with us i'm very looking forward to seeing how much further this movie can go and finally let's end the video off with the number one movie of the weekend which was for the third week in a row deadpool and wolverine making 53 million dollars this weekend adding to a domestic total of 493 million and a worldwide total of one billion dollars so despite it being a tight race for the number one spot just a three million dollar difference between number one and number two ultimately it was deadpool and wolverine who claimed number one yet again this film still has a grip on the audience interest and positive word of mouth this movie's just gonna once again keep making the most out of this slow period of the summer for sure 
And because of that, it's surpassing some milestones. It surpassed 400 million domestically and is just 7 million away from surpassing the $500 million milestone domestically, which will make it the second film of the year to do so, and also roughly $100 million away from Inside Out 2's domestic total. Again, we'll, it'll be interesting to see which one comes out on top of the end. It's the uh, space between the two of them is getting closer, so we'll see if Deadpool can surpass anxiety. Uh, and on the worldwide side of things, it is now the second R-rated film ever to make one billion dollars and i think it's safe to say it will surpass joker's uh billion dollar gross to be officially become the highest grossing r-rated film of all time worldwide yeah just another solid weekend for the film as you can imagine despite it making so much money i'm running out of things to say about this movie it just keeps benefiting from word of mouth and you know it keeps bringing in the crowds you know uh, we'll see how much further this movie can go again gonna be interesting to see which movie comes out on top for this year either this or inside out 2 once again i'll keep sure i'll be sure to keep updating you all on that but yeah once again uh, another solid weekend for deadpool and wolverine and those were your top five domestic box office results for this weekend but we're not quite done yet as we've got another weekend out of us and new movies hitting theaters and this weekend we have one new major wide release that film being alien romulus the latest installment in the Alien franchise, despite the last one not really bringing it, I think this one is going to do what that last one should have really bring it, despite it, you know, being middle of August and the slow period. I think there is a lot of interest with this movie. The marketing has been very fantastic. I've been seeing lots of promos and creative stuff with it. You know, the Xenomorphs uh, publicity stunts with them, you know, sucking people's faces at like various movie theaters. I think that's creative. And, you know, I've been seeing a lot of ads and stuff here and there for it. Certainly the trailer a lot. And the buzz seems to be there with this movie. People do seem to be really excited and interested about this film and you know with the name alien you know that's gonna pique people's interest and yeah like i said with like it ends with us and deadpool and wolverine and twisters i think it's gonna make the most out of like the slow period you know there's not really anything major like another deadpool and wolverine out right now you know other than deadpool and wolverine uh but you know what i mean uh so i think it's gonna take advantage of that by being the new big wide release for sure overall i'm expecting uh very solid things for this movie yeah uh nothing too major i don't think this is gonna be like again one of the big movies but maybe something around like kingdom of the planet and the apes and i think that would be pretty solid given this movie uh so yeah expecting some solid things for this film but we'll see how well it truly does as well as the rest of the movies that land in the top five on the next box office chat and that's going to do it for this week's episode of Box Office Chat. What did you all think of the results? Were you satisfied, unsatisfied? Comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on all the social media links right there. And until next time, everyone, stay sharp.